guys, how's everyone doing today? Well, I thought I would do a more of a fun video today. And uh, I did a little poll on my community page. Yeah, I got some people that said, yeah, don't bother, don't bother doing this video, it's boring. Mm. <laughs> Thanks so much for that, guys. Um, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I got a lot more people saying, yeah, I'd like you to do that. And so this video is basically, it's, it's not basically going to be, it is going to be uh, about the conspiracy theories that surround the royal family. And trust me, oh dear, like, <laughs> there's some weird ones out there. And I don't know, like, yeah, how some people believe this BS. Um, yeah, maybe one too many of them have escaped from a loony bin. I don't know. So let's do a rundown. And... I'm going to start with the more light-hearted ones, and then we'll go into the ones that are a wee bit... In fact, yeah, in fact, I don't know how I'm going to start this, because they're all pretty weird. All right, let's go on. Let's start with number one. <laughs> this one's brilliant. Prince Charles... Well, not Prince Charles. It's King Charles and now. King Charles is a vampire. <laughs> yes. A vampire. <laughs> you know, I just imagine them um, <laughs> strutting around um, Buckingham Palace and Bela Lugosi <laughs> with his big cape, you know, bringing it right up to his nose. <laughs> Hiding in a corner. <laughs> Waiting for handbag and mouton to pop out so he can suck all their blood. Oh, uh, so yeah, that's a, <laughs> God, I told you they're weird, and they get even weirder. Uh, yeah, so the, people assume that Prince, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> this, this is going to be hard for me to keep a straight, a straight face while I say these things. So people assume that King Charles is a vampire. <laughs> You know, but like Count Ducula poking your balls. I don't know. Like a vampire. <laughs> Do people actually believe that vampires exist? Like, seriously. <laughs> I spent too much, way too much time on this. Um, but I'll put up like a, a reason. Wait, now there is a reason. Should I tell you the reasons why people assume he's a vampire? I'll put on the screen, in fact, the reasons why people assume King, King Charles. It's King Dracula. <laughs> oh, God. The reasons are even worse than the conspiracy. All right. The reason that people believe Charles is a vampire <laughs> is because he is related to... But he has, in his past, and his genealogy is related to Vlad the Impaler. Oh, my God. And then also because there's a condition called... Porf porphy wait now I I don't know how to say this porphyria <laughs> I don't know I can't say it p o r p h y r i a por I don't know porphyria <laughs> I never said I was clever okay it's it's a it's a strange a uh, iron it's an an iron indeficiency disease um. So when your body doesn't produce enough iron, your skin becomes sensitive to sunlight. And as it says here, it's pres present in the royal family, um, which is only fueled the theory amongst royal enthusiasts. Royal enthusiasts? Seriously, royal enthusiasts think that the royal family are vampires? <laughs> like, oh my God. Or do they only think that Charles is a vampire? And what does that make the rest of them? And that's moving on to conspiracy theory number two. <laughs> Not only is Charles a vampire, but did you also know that the royal family are aliens as well? <laughs> now, this rumour has been going on for ages and ages. Oh, God, so long. At one point, people <laughs> can't even, like, talk about this their straight face. So, people have claimed that they saw the Queen... <laughs> she was here, shapeshift in front of their eyes. She shapeshifted into some kind of lizard. Or 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can you imagine her? <laughs> we lizard. Oh my god. A wee li a lizard with a handbag. <laughs> oh no, I'm probably... I'm probably finding this way too funnier than you are. So yeah, they think that the royal family are, are lizards. <laughs> and um, a, a notice was actually put out and a ha hackers actually got into the royal family's website and they put a statement, this was actually pretty funny. <laughs> I can't find it, but I do remember I had it on one of my other devices, and unfortunately, I can't get into that. So, um, yeah, you're going to have to take my word for it, but I promise you this is real. So some hackers got into the Royal Family website, and they put a... St you know how Buckingham Palace put statements out? Well, they put a statement out, and it read brilliant, and people believed that. And it says... Her Majesty the Queen would like to thank all of her, um, you know, all the people that, what does she call us again? What are we called to the Queen? All the peasants, I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm recording this at two o'clock in the morning. So, uh, yeah, words don't, come, words don't come easy to me. It's basically this time of the morning. So yeah, we peasants. She she put out this. Well, it was she was the hackers put out the statement on her behalf, but the statement was put out saying that she would like to thank all her. I can't think of the word. So peasants, um, for their support uh, on her being the monarch, and she she wanted to thank uh, them, us for taking her and her family under a ring since they weren't human. <laughs> It was like really weird and it basically said that the royal family were yeah aliens <laughs> now obviously like you, the tinfoil hat wearing people jumped on this and were like see see we told you we told you the royal family are really shape-shifting aliens and then there's this like weird guy called david ike oh god <laughs> he jumped on it faster than he jumped on it Oh, well, I can't say that joke. <laughs> it's very bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, David I jumped on this faster than Megan jumped on a designer handbag. I don't know. I had a bit of a broad joke, but people would have probably <laughs> subscribed. <laughs> so David I, who's he? Um, he's a he's a he's a guy who yeah does loads and loads of conspiracy theories. And um, he once proclaimed that he went on TV. In fact, should I show you the clip? I'll show it if I can find it. He went on TV on a British TV show, and he claimed that he was Jesus Christ. Yes, he was the he was Jesus Christ reincarnated, and he said this with a straight face. And uh, yeah, people laughed at him. But then he kind of went into hiding again, and then reemerged as this conspiracy theorist. And I think he's even been over to America and done some talks and that some of his stuff's pretty interesting i'll give him his due there but like this alien guff you know like it, not that like i don't believe that there's life other life out there but the royal family being aliens mm, you know <laughs> big lizards that um i don't know yeah doesn't seem kind of like kosher to me so let's move on to number... Are we on number three? Yeah, I think we're on three, aren't we? Number three. <laughs> the royal family have shifted from being vampires and aliens and now they're satanic cannibals. <laughs> yes, satanic cannibals. The royal family are Satanists. Oh, yeah, and I may as well include this conspiracy theory in here as well. They're also part of the Illuminati. Because that was a separate conspiracy theory. But I think Sata Satanists, Illuminati and cannibals will go hand in hand with one another. So this conspiracy theory, this one's nuts as well. Um, this conspiracy theory, they allege that every time the Queen and Prince Philip went abroad, children went missing. <laughs> and then, so there's this story about Canada and how the... Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip went to this orphanage and took these kids out for a picnic and 
I think it was like 17 kids or something, and the kids never came back. And it's turned out to be utter guff. It's crap. It doesn't... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a load of lies. But I've actually seen... There's people on YouTube with channels, and I'm not joking you, and they've actually got like a fa- fair amount of followers that actually <laughs> state <laughs> that they either knew or were one of the children that went on the picnic... But they, yet they can never show any evidence to this. And if they were on the picnic and all went missing, like, how are they, how are they back? Just like, wait, yeah, I never thought about that. Also, if they were on the picnic and as well and they managed to, like, make it out, how come they can't, like, take the authorities or even point out the area which this happened? They claim that they can't remember, like, some kind of mind control made them forget and it's only through hip- hypnotherapy that they've been able to remember this tragic event now and then there was this one particular woman that's on youtube i'm not going to like give your name or anything because i don't want anybody to go and, go, go and tell her she's a whack job but um yeah she's on youtube and what was it she said um oh yeah she had said oh god i've forgotten <laughs> i forgot what was it she said? Oh yeah, she couldn't even remember. She she gave a a a month and year, and it turns out when you look up that month and year, the Queen and Prince Philip weren't even in Canada. So then she changed that, and she said that she couldn't remember the month or year because um they had put her in some kind of weird trance or something and made her forget and like. Something about mind control or something. I was just watching or like, what the hell? Like, I, I was losing brain cells just watching this. But I'm not going to put it on here because it is, yeah. Obviously, this person's got some mental problems. And uh, I don't want to direct anybody to, like, cause any more mental problems to this person. So, yeah, let's move on. What about number four? Number four, like, this conspiracy theory, like, there's, like, there's tons of conspiracy theories. The royal family's illegitimate children, all right? So, obviously, we know, well, I don't know if you all know this. <laughs> I'm speaking to you as if, like, we're all friends and we know all this. So, Charles and Camilla got blamed for having this guy from Australia. Sorry, I was to say weird. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This guy from Australia came out and said that he was the illegitimate son of Charles and Camilla. And it turned out to be rubbish. Then this other girl came in Australia and said that she was the illegitimate child of Diana. How come they're all in Australia? <laughs> I don't know. Not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with the Aussies. Aussies are brilliant people so down to earth. Um, but, yeah... And then, oh yeah, <laughs> these are the ones like I'm like getting, yeah, these are the ones that are recent and, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the rumour, the, the story of um Prince Andrew and Marcus Anderson, do you know that one? Well, <laughs> the conspiracy theory is, and this is a recent one because I've heard people say it, the conspiracy theory is that Marcus Anderson is Prince Andrew's illegitimate son. And do you want me to tell you how they know it's Andrew's illegitimate son? You'll never, ever, ever guess. DNA, you think? No. <laughs> A resemblance, maybe? No. <laughs> this is it. Get this. <laughs> I can't even speak, this is so stupid. Sorry, sorry, I know some people believe this, but yeah. Marcus and they, they know for a thousand percent that Marcus Anderson is Prince Andrew's son. How? <laughs> because of his second name, Anderson. Get it? It's code for Andrew's son. <gasps> Clutch your pedals, I mean. <laughs> Yes, Andrew. <laughs> now the other one, the other one is just like <laughs> the other one is just as bad. All right. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. You so probably clicked over this. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're reading off into the madness here. The other one. The other one. <laughs> it's Meghan Markle. <laughs> Is it Elijah? Well, no, yeah, she must be. She isn't Thomas Markle's daughter, or, and Doria's not her mum. No, 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 no. Now, this one, this one I heard last year. And see, when I heard that, I thought, what are you guys smoking? <laughs> what are you guys on? What? This is nuts. <laughs> Did you know <laughs> that Mouton Markle's real dad and mum, I'll give you a real mum first. They're saying our real mum is Wallace Simpson. And guess who her dad is? Wallace Simpson's husband, George? No. You know who it is? Hello! <laughs> yeah? Adolf Hitler! <laughs> this is so big. <laughs> There's... I was on somebody's live and they truly believe this. And like, I've seen everybody agreeing and I'm like, what? How the hell could she be the daughter of Wallace Simpson and Adolf Hitler? They lived, like, like that, they, they lived, that was in the, the 40s. That would mean that Mouton would have to be at least in her 80s or 90s. Now, I know some people speculate that she's older <coughs> Sorry, then forty one, but she's like she's not like let's be honest about that. But she's she, she's certainly not like how the hell can she be the daughter of Adolf Hitler and Wallace Simpson? And when was Wallace Simpson together with Adolf Hitler? Oh my days! <laughs> oh my days! You're right. Let's get into like some more. I'm looking at the time on this video and I'm realising we're quite, yeah, it's getting it's getting quite long now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like an a part kind of video because I swear to God there's so many more conspiracy theories and they're even more nuts than the ones I've already told you about. So if you like this, please hit like, subscribe. Uh, I've got my little donation thing in the subscription box so if you want to help out with the channel, um, it does mean a lot. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Love you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll be back soon. Bye.